we've made the transition into the music hall where our guest is a Philadelphia-based singer-songwriter. Uh, her name is Susan Werner. Susan grew up, correct me if I'm wrong, Susan, but I understand you grew up in rural Iowa. I grew up on a farm, right? And um, has about as much experience performing classical and jazz music as she does her own material. She earned her degree in voice at college and was on track to becoming an opera singer when uh, he just decided to throw it all away about five years ago. I guess or it threw me away or something. I guess I figured I was going to be a minor league player in opera, and I thought, man, i got to find something else to do. Her, her new album is called Last of the Good Straight Girls. Please welcome Susan Warner. Hey, thanks for having me. Sure. Now, uh, first of all, I want to say thanks for, the, for the, the lovely birthday cake. You're welcome. That was very sweet. And it's not my birthday, but, but yours. <laughs> yes, mine and a few other people's. Um, no, that was really, that was really sweet. Very delicious too. I'm glad. Like strawberry shortcake, but not helpful. No, no, not helpful. <laughs> Fortunately, I didn't eat any lunch today, so I'm on the right. I'm on the right track. You saw Dylan last night, didn't you? I saw Dylan at the at the Palladium. Yeah. Right. That looks like a giant prom hall. Yes. It does, and the chandeliers and everything. He was really great. I was a little concerned at first because I really couldn't understand his words, and I'm not familiar enough with his music to know from the first line what the song is. Like everybody else knew. Uh-huh. But um, he was he was really great, especially when he got to the acoustic set, and he played and. As a musician, you know, to see a giant like that, he was he was really the king. You know, you knew at that moment when he played and he was delivering the song right into the mic and really feeling it was, you were like seeing the king, the ultimate. It was yeah. very inspirational. Well, he's certainly responsible for some pretty seriously wonderful music. There's no question about that. Yep. He's a legend. Susan Werner, perhaps will become a legend someday. We'll Why don't see. you give us a little taste of what you do? Okay, I'll, I'll um, play the, the title cut from the new record, and I hope you all have a new record someday. Everybody is listening, because then you can say title track. So this is the title track to my new record and it's uh, sort of the story of um, a young woman in the big city and how she feels when she comes to the city and how she's open to strangers and then something happens to her that has a way of changing her and, and by the third verse she's a, she's a completely uh, different person. In the commuter train She is wearing a beret Always wanted just to look that way She appreciates the thought As you help her with the bag she brought She extends a little smile As she looks at you across the aisle But gone the days of the corduroy jumpers And your very first string of pearls Say a prayer for the souls of the fallen And the last of the good strays She winces when the people cuss She is reading from a book That she needed for a class She took, she puts a marker in the spine As we're crossing over city line As she steps down on the street There's a man she never planned to meet Hey, gone the days of the corduroy jumpers On your very first string of pearls Say a prayer for the souls of the fallen And the last of the good stray Gentle women go And you say where Oh where is the town I used to know And you say why, why, why Is it slipping out of sight Is there something in the night Is there something Out there happening in the night Yeah, yeah Secondhand Ford and doesn't bother with the bus no more. She rolls the windows up tight when she's waiting at the traffic light through the bulletproof glass. She buys a paper and a tank of gas. Does so she seem a little scared? Well, she's always gotta be prepared. Hang on the days of the corduroy jumpers and your birth string of pearls. 
It's keys in hand and a gun in the pocket of the last of the good stray girls. So say goodbye to your Eisenhower shiny world. Say a prayer for the souls of the fallen and the last of the good. Susan Werner in the music hall here at FM 101.9. She's got a couple shows tonight at Luna Park, uh, two sets at 7 and 8.15, and a sh- um, an in-store performance at Virgin, um, I-, I suspect the Hollywood Virgin Megastore, on Sunday. And uh, so you're, you're in town f- for a few days. Is this your first your first full, full cross-country jaunt, first first big tour? This is the first big tour, and what's what's fun about it is you get to go places you have never been before. I was in Vancouver and Seattle uh, just last week, and it, it's terrific. It's wonderful to get to travel. I mean, if, if, you're, if you're in a state in your life where you can just take off and go places, it's the ideal career. You get to go, and if you get an extra day, it's like you're a paid tourist. It's, ter- it's just terrific. Um, and, and audiences have been great, and they're interesting, too, how they behave in different different towns. Like Philly, where I'm from now, where I live now, if an audience loves you, they just stand on the table and scream. I mean, they're so vocal, they're like hockey fans. <laughs> and in New England, if they like you, they'll just come up afterwards and just touch you gently on the arm and say, thank you so much. <laughs> and that, that's like a standing ovation in Maine, right there. So I, I'm kind of interested to see what LA's gonna do. So you, do a lot of, you do a lot of Eastern Seaboard stuff. New yeah, England I did until, until now, and now I'm doing all across the country. That's it's great. Um, the Samsonite life That's great. Now. You were back in college, you were majoring in, I guess you were being trained as a classical vocalist. Mm-hmm. And uh, what was the plan at that time? Well, the plan was to be like, if you've ever heard the work of like Don Upshaw or Frederica von Stadt or any of the Cecilia Bartoli is the new hot ticket on the oh, yeah. circuit. All I, those... I even bought one of her records. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, to, to sing some of the great works. And, and uh, I, I just really loved that music. I still really love it. And sometimes I have to just uh, grin and bear it a little bit when I get to hear somebody do something great like that, like to watch what happens with Don Upshaw. And I think a lot of people have a dream they had when they were younger that at some point they had to give up and, and move into another dream that was more appropriate for them. And then that's the one that takes off. And and this is the one that's taken off for me. So uh-huh. I think I'm doing the right thing. Do you have a favorite uh, opera aria? Oh. oh, sure. You know, Una Voce Poco Fa. Or, you know, I, I'll even pull out the Carmen aria if I have a uh-huh. beer before a show. <laughs> <laughs> well, You'll do them on stage? Oh, yeah. I do uh-huh. the Carmen aria from time you also, You've also done some performing as a, a jazz musician. In fact, I had Quite an opportunity to see you play with the trio, with jazz trio. Did back you really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I snuck in there. You didn't see me, I don't think. Where was the pen and pencil? Or where Something. Were you? One of them clubs. It was, it was in New Market, I think. Oh, wow. But, um... What's what's the difference in terms of the performance between the, the jazz trio, the, you know, and what you do now in terms of you know what the feelings like, what the audience is like? Is are there any sort of things that spring to mind? Yeah, there's with what I'm doing now. It's just me and a guitar, generally, or me and the piano. So there's a, there's a lot of intimacy between me and the audience now. Um, sometimes I do miss the interaction with the, with the band and. And at some point, I may have a bass player with me or um, or a percussionist of some kind, just for the interaction. I miss the interaction of jazz, mm-hmm. but there's a directness about 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 playing a guitar and singing a song, or just the challenge of writing. That's that's really uh, it's exciting. I get to create little word pictures. Like, look, Cecilia Bartoli isn't writing. You know, she's not yeah. writing songs. I get to write songs. Well, I was going to ask you: is there is there a um, a difference in the experience of singing one of the songs that you've written versus singing a jazz standard or a or yeah, there is. I think you put you put you put a part of yourself at risk when you write and sing, that you don't put at risk if you just sing. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. You put more of yourself at risk, I think. But when I sing other people's tunes, especially um, jazz standards or something like that, there's a part of me that gets to show that um, maybe doesn't show through my writing yet. Mm-hmm. I might be able to get both of those together at some point. That would be exciting. Yeah. If your managers will let you. <laughs> I think. I think. I think they will. I think they will at some point. We're with Susan Werner. In the music hall here at FM 101.9, um, what do you got? What do you got cooking for us now? Well, this is a um, this is the only cover I put on 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 the record, and um, it's a tune I actually heard uh, played for the first time on WXPN, your old station in Philly, uh, about a year ago. I was driving, and and this Paul Simon tune came on. I almost drove off the road. I'd never heard it before. It was such a beautiful song, and so true. And and when time rolled around to do the album, I, I thought, well, maybe we should work up an arrangement of this. So we did, and 
and it happened and now I get to do it at shows and, and bring this song back out into the ears of other people. You got the cool water when the fever runs high. You've got the look of love light in your eyes, and I was in crazy motion till you calmed me down. Took a little time to calm me down. When something goes wrong, I'm the first to admit it. The first to admit it. The last one to know. But if something goes right, oh, it's likely to lose me. Confuse me because it's such an unusual sight. I swear I can't, I can't get used to something so right, something so right. They got a wall in China that's a thousand miles long. Keep out the foreigners, they made it strong And I've got a wall around me That you can't even see It took a little time To let you get next to me I'm the first to admit it, I'm brilliant, first to admit it, the last one to know, but if something goes right, oh, it's likely to lose me, it's apt to confuse me, because it's such an unusual sight, I swear I can't, I can't get used to something so right, mm, something so right. Never say the words I love you. It's not their style to be so bold. Some people never say those words I love you. But like a child, they're longing to be told. Mm -hmm. first to admit it, the very first to admit it, the last one to know, but if something goes right, oh, it's likely to lose me, it's, it's apt to confuse me, because it's such an unusual sight, I swear I can't, I can't get it used to something. Myself, something so right. Didn't know it at first, but here it is, and it's right there beside me. Can't believe it, but I finally found myself something so Susan Werner in the Music Hall here at FM 101.9. Virgin Megastore on Sunday, uh, an in-store performance at 1 o'clock. 
the Hollywood store. Uh, Luna Park tonight, 7 o'clock and 8.15, two sets. I understand, Susan, that we, um, Linda said she brought some tickets. I think we have like 10 pairs of tickets or something like that. So we'll pass some tickets out to Susan per- Susan's performance tonight. Oh, that's great. And uh, well, to uh, to the first, I guess, 10 people who, who, who give us a ring, the number is to call 520-KSCA. That's from L.A. or the Valley. Uh, from anywhere else, it's toll-free, 1-800-777-1019. Susan, your new album is called Last of the Good Straight Girls. And uh, good luck. Thanks a lot for stopping by. No, thanks for having me. This is a great station. I got your little flyer when I was walking out of the, di- the Dylan concert. Oh, got one of those? <laughs> yes, very, very nicely done. Someone's standing there with a very nice smile, very friendly smile. And here they were just handing out the flyers quietly. We are the kinder, gentler radio station. <laughs> <laughs> thanks again for stopping by. Thanks.